of that, the yeah, news yeah. of the day, to right. talk about demanding better. The news of the day is the offensive staff, <laughs> according to reports, is basically getting the broom. Running backs coach Stump Mitchell. This one got this one. That's a legend. He, this, he'll be snatched up in 15 minutes. That's low-hanging fruit. He's been told he is out of a job, as well as tight ends coach. He is out. That cut me deep, man. man. I know you know him, right? With him or for him? We was with San Francisco uh, scout team cards, man. Yes. It would There's come the out tweet there and from Josina that you know? broke the news. God. Now, the, the, the one that seems to be a little TC. bit um, up in the air right now is offensive coordinator Alex Van Pelt. Josina says that he was told yesterday by Kevin Stefanski that he is out. He's had conversations with teammates, according to Josina, and also according to Josina's reports, some of the teammates, some of the players aren't exactly thrilled with this news. Um, let's just, well, first we gotta do a read quickly, let's get that out of the way, and then reaction to this news. So go ahead, uh, Anthony, take it yeah, away. Yeah, guys, real quick. The NFL regular season is wrapping up, but there's still time to get in on all the action with FanDuel, America's mm -hmm. number one sports book. Right now, new customers are getting $150 <laughs> in bonus bets, guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. That's 150 bucks in bonus bets, win or lose. The app is super easy to use. There's many different ways to bet, like same game parlays, find bets in the new Explore tab, make a parlay in the Parlay Hub, and more. So you guys can go visit fanduel.com slash locked on to make your first layup. FanDuel, the official partner of the NFL. Oh yeah, with that being said, I'm doing something with FanDuel today. Y'all know that on Monday, if you watch the show, you know that I hit my FanDuel ticket. So that oh, means, oh yeah, you, yeah, hit it. About time, right? Dang. So, How many did you lose before it? Um, I only play like once a week. Oh, so okay. yeah, and I ain't, this is, I ain't. You're just dabbling. Yeah. All right. So I, I anyways, hit my ticket. So I'm hot right now. I, I think I've kind of got this thing figured out. As you know, the Cavs played it nice, so I cooked up a 10 leg parlay. <laughs> oh my God. 10 legs. Listen, hold on. Ten, but this is like guaranteed to it's happen. Suckers. <laughs> Wait a minute. There. No, these is guaranteed to happen. Ten so young. check me out. Check this out. All right. Giannis for 30 tonight. Okay. You did have the under with Giannis. We were shocked I took by the that under the other because day. I, I know Giannis. Listen, Gian, that's my He's boy. Your guy, yeah. I know Giannis. I just know how he's gonna play. Giannis, thirty points tonight. Damian Lillard, two yeah. threes. That's easy. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell, six assists. Okay. He's the new point guard. He has no choice. Brooke Lopez, he's gonna hit Trey because they got Jared Allen on him. So he's gonna sit in the corner. He's gonna hit two threes. Mm. Boom. Uh, Jared Allen's a rebounding machine. I got him for 10 boards tonight. He should get that in his sleep. I got the over on Giannis for over 33, so he got to score 34. He's going to do that. Giannis, six assists. He's going to do that. Damian Lillard, six assists. He's going to give it to Giannis, so he's going to get the six. Damian Lillard, three made threes. And That's then be... Donovan Mitchell. You're taking the over on that? Over on assists. Now, how much You're taking you, the over on Lillard threes. He got to make three threes. How much yeah. assists? Okay. How much you got? He, he gonna shoot like five. I'm gonna well, bet a couple bucks. I put ten dollars on it and it'll pay three hundred and thirteen. Hey, there you hey, go. Listen, I need for a ten leg. That's kind of low. Hey, hey, young. That's because they're guaranteed to happen. Hey, My point exactly. Hey, Talk to me tomorrow. Hey, young boy. <laughs> now, when I walk in here, I first of all, if y'all get rich, just you give me a shout out on hey, Twitter. Be like T Y, hit me up. Yeah, look, he didn't hook me up with a nice three hundred dollar <laughs> leg. Come on now. Will you now. reimburse them if they lose? Hey, young boy. No, nah, you listen. You bet at your own risk. You bet at I need, I need yeah. you to set my phone up, dog. What you need? Set, I need that setup. I need that yeah, setup. You want that? You want that? That ticket? same setup. <laughs> set it up. So you're gonna, you're gonna roll with that. Oh, I like that. Fan doing so good, I can send you the bet. Yeah. And you can just place yeah, you can it. transfer. I can just see you to bed, which is nice. I'm working on my backyard for the spring. You know how there you go. That's you, that's seed fertilizer and maybe whatever else. I you ain't telling do. you to bet the house on it. Get you a little five dollars, little five dollar yeah. bet. Yeah, yeah, five dollar yeah. bet. Get you five, get you a hundred so, or something. Jay, you were starting to say that, that uh, out the out there is some conflicting reporting on Alex Van Pelt. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Yeah, in the person that I'm talking to in saying that he is out. It may be wrong, and Mary yeah. Kay may be right. It's possible Mary Kay just hasn't heard it yet, or they haven't confirmed it for her yet. Right. But I am told from someone that I trust, and I've had a relationship with for a long time, that he is out. Well, I tell you what, usually when it's conflicting like this, he's out. It, in about yeah, two days. Because there's no gray area. You're out. fired or you're not. Yeah. There, now, usually, I'll tell you where there is some gray area sometimes, when you get a report that he's going to be fired, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean he's been fired. Right. It just may not have happened yet. Yeah. Right. And right. so it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It just means that it hasn't happened yet. In this, it, the, the reporting is very specific in this instance. 
he is out. And what? the reporter that's breaking it yeah. is very reliable and almost that I can think of never wrong. One other thing that may back up and maybe why there's some confusion here, and I, I, I was trying to fi- I, I it's so hard to find assistant coach contracts. I know. They're not they, published. They, they're yeah, not as easy to find yeah. as, as I I saw one thing, but it wasn't a reliable source, so I'm not sure if it's true or not, that said his contract is up at the end of this year. So maybe that's what's happening here, that it's a technicality, that maybe he's not getting fired. He's just they're letting his contract run out, and that's that. Right, right. So maybe that's the technicality. Yeah. I, but I don't know that for sure because it's so hard to find assistant contract yeah, we don't know. information. But we don't know. This, 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 this screams of me. Of the beginning of the year, what did we hear? We always rag on Ty, our Tyvis for this, this, uh, this, this new playbook. <laughs> oh my god! There was no, there was no new playbook. It was, it was a hodgepodge of this or that, and it looks like somebody had to fall on the sword for that because they was telling us, yeah, they were. Hey, Elijah, Elijah Moore. They was telling us we had I the wanna, weapons necessary. Wait a minute, I want to go, I want to go on record and say the OTAs practice that I seen. <laughs> Look nothing like, <laughs> nothing the, like season. the season. Hey, it was it was Elijah Moore was everywhere. He lined up in the slot. He lined up at running back. Was catching the ball. And yeah. I really didn't see none of that. So it was one day. It, I think it, ha- it might have happened maybe in the first game, and then and then it was like it was up. They said we're gonna go back to what we know. Yeah. We talked about <laughs> yesterday the fact that like you know sometimes fans are so scared for change or just assume that you run it back and next year it'll be good too because it was good this year. Sure. The let's be honest about it. The brown there's there's there's, there's almost three categories of teams that make the playoffs. There's the category of team that, like the Chiefs, like the Bills, that make the playoffs, be, and they got a great quarterback, and you know, and it's pretty reliable. If they're healthy, they're going to get back to the playoffs next right. year. Then there's the second group. There's the group that <laughs> made it because they don't have a great quarterback, but their quarterback played very well this year. Or other people didn't have their quarterback. Well, that's the third group. Okay. <laughs> the third group is what the Browns are in. They made it in a different slash fluky way. Right. And that doesn't mean they See, can't I, get back. So you would call it fluky and not just – I mean, I, I think what the Browns did is remarkable. Oh, I did too. The, what the Browns coaching staff did Beautiful. is coach. Beautiful. There was no autopilot going on. There was like, oh, my God, <laughs> all hands on deck. This is a code red. We've got to change what we're doing midstream. Yes. They did it three times. I say, doesn't fluky mean unusual? I guess. I guess, but it also, maybe, to, me, maybe. It, it, to me, it feels like that maybe it wasn't completely earned. It, so, it, so yeah. in other words, if you lose a game you think you should win, you say, that was fluky. Okay, fair. Like, I they, think they earned this playoff they, did, they 100% earned it, so I didn't mean it from that perspective. But I don't know what the right word is. What, I, what, what I'm saying is... They did it in a different the way. The way they maybe made the quirky. playoffs, I don't it's, know. Not, it's not sustainable to make the playoffs with this amount of injuries and that amount of turnovers. I agree. Sure. You, those things are not sustainable. You're living what very did? dangerously yes. if you do, we know, do that twice. Do we know what they finish in the offensive rankings? Like, as far as pass, rush, and total? No, you I know do. that McNugget? Or they, he he An- knows everything. Anthony? He got all the stats. They can get it, but here's the thing. It's really, what are you going to glean from it? I just wanted to see. You what, had a quarter no, of the I just season with to see Deshaun what Watson. Two, you had a quarter of this, more than a quarter of the season with DTR and, and Phillip. I mean, I'm just, and then you had more than a quarter of the season with Joe Flacco. So I'm just saying it ain't, it ain't like Does atrocious. it warrant cleaning house? No, that's what, that's, that's what. So let, let's start there, guys, because I don't yeah. think we're on record. Are you okay with the firings? Well, I have to get more information, and here's I why. Do too. I know, no, that's the, yes. listen, that's the right answer. They haven't given us a reason. If, if Kevin that's what they that's what they keep, here. That's what they keep us ask. for. Like, <laughs> okay I think now? that's a perfect let answer. Me, let, me, no, let, me, let, me no, explain, let me explain to you why. If these were Kevin Stefanski's decisions, I'm completely on board. If these were Jimmy Haslam's decisions, i am got a big problem with it. I do, too. Now, I do too. <laughs> and I've, you know what? I, to me, it doesn't feel like a Stefanski move. No, now, you, you know who now did we this? don't know for sure yet. You know who did it. I think I know who did it. Paul D. Podesta. I, that's my belief. <laughs> no. It is my I belief. I just like saying this. No, name. no, no. Listen, and here's why I'll say that. This organization has laid asphalt for their road to success to be traveled by a quarterback that doesn't do what this team just did well. Yeah. And I think if there is a power struggle going on, and all of this is supposition, 
I'm just from 30,000 feet and no intel. Mm-hmm. What I, To me, I can't explain it. I'm like, Stump Mitchell. <laughs> Stump Mitchell's a freaking legend. Yeah. Stump Mitchell, I mean, it has... Get, the running it's, game, it's incredible what Stump Mitchell has done. The running game wasn't great like it, t- towards the end of this year. Though. Well, no, because Nick Chubb wasn't there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but all of that being said, for, for me, could be wrong. If I am, I'll apologize later. We don't have intel. Browns aren't the most transparent organization. We had to hear this from reporters outside the organization. How about they tell us first what they're doing? That didn't happen. So now we have to fill the gaps with speculation. Here's mine. Does it feel like Kevin Stefanski would call these guys in and fire them? It doesn't to me. Maybe he did. Maybe he'll even fall on the sword in the news conference and say, guys, this was all me. I don't know that I would even buy that. Yeah. To me, knowing what I know and how the, how the organization operates, which, by the way, is behind a curtain and a lot of mystery, but to me, it seems like Paul D. Podesta is sitting in his lab in California <laughs> watching all this saying, guys, it's great that you were able to win this way. That's not what Deshaun is, and that's not what Deshaun does, and that's not why we brought him here, to make him that's, an under That's not necessarily wrong, but what I... It's w- not wrong. What I will say is, they got to be very careful how you move forward with Oh, this, this better work. Like this See, this yeah. better because, work. No, because the reason being is because I, I came here in our little pre-meeting, and I was telling them, I was like, Kevin Stefanski's really good at under center. He is, and I think that... Deshaun is a shotgun guy. He wants to be in the shotgun. DTR is a shotgun guy. I think that if you go out and get an offensive-minded coach that works well in the shotgun and has some experience in the shotgun, and you put him and Kevin in the same room, and they can get that perfect blend with Deshaun, he can be a really good quarterback because now you got a guy who's a guru under center, but then you got a guy who's a guru that's in shotgun. So if you can get both of those worlds to collide, and get it into Deshaun Watson, he could be a really good quarterback. Now you're getting the best of both worlds. Yeah, but it sounds to me like this is a strong pivot saying, no, don't expect us to do that with Deshaun next year. What y'all missing is this. Jimmy Haslam is an emotional guy. When you're emotional and you sit up there and you watch a young quarterback like C.J. Stroud carve you up like that, the first thing a rich dude in power want is, where's my guy like that? I don't, where's my guy? I don't. I, I know we got here doing this and running play action. But you know what? But I want my. I paid this amount of money for this guy. But you know what? This guy is doing it earlier than this. You know what? We need to flip this up. Mm. I need to find somebody that's gonna get him and look like that. And, and so here's the thing. He's not going. He can't fire Stefanski. He can't. Yes, do he, that. he cannot pay him. Listen. If you want to do that, if Jimmy want to go off of that, go watch that tape. C.J. Stroud was under center. But you, but of you, course, but but that's the that's the point. <laughs> so what are we that's, talking about? That's, that's but the, that's but the organization. What are we talking about? To me, right. just, to, Bull, he carved the number Bull, one defense yeah. up I, under center. I'm curious to get Bull's thought on yeah. this. Does this feel like a move to you that D. Podesta and Haslam are looking at this saying, "That's not what our guy does. I got a lot invested in our guy. We got to get people in here that can do what our guy does." I, to I me, that's what it feels. like. I agree like. with half of that. Okay, uh, I agree that it's Jimmy. I don't. I think D. Podesta and Stefanski are on the same page. Now, I don't just like you. I don't know that for sure either. Yeah. But I think I think D. Podesta, Stefanski, and Barry are all cut from the same cloth, and they're on the same page. But I agree with you. This is not a Kevin Stefanski thing, most likely. I but I think it's Jim, I'm blaming Jimmy, not D. Podesta. Right. I think this is Jimmy. Certainly, I think the uh, uh, the Van Pelt things got layers to it. Yes. Because I Van right. Pelt, Why would he go. He doesn't call the plays. Scapegoat, but he. I, <laughs> but what I'm saying for what? He may want to call plays though. But here, no. But here's the thing: like, <laughs> if you want to shake up the room, That's right? If you one. want a, a breath of fresh air, you want a different set of eyeballs at what you got to play. For, as far as players go, you can't do it with Stefanski. He's a play caller, and he doesn't really call <laughs> shotgun plays all that well. He's got better at it. Yeah. He did better uh, with, with, with uh, you know Joe uh, Flacco. Joe Flacco. However, okay, Van Pelt is officially out. So yeah, as, I'm getting the tweet as, right now. As, as yeah. expected, he is out. So you, if you, if yeah. you got a guy and he's he's a shotgun guy, the next step, the next evolutionary step is give me the best shotgun guy out there. And who who is the inventor of the shotgun? Find me the best guy that can get, can draw this up so he can get with Kevin and say, yeah. that's, okay, this is what we're and that may be true and, and that may benefit. <laughs> I do think Van Pelt. Jimmy wants it right, now. Right. Also, Van Pelt may want to call plays. Like he may have wanted that, to that's go. That's another. You thing. know, he may. 
He, that's true too. But 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 listen to this though. I, and I said this, but it might have weight. Y'all might say yeah. Tyvis should be quiet with that. I said that what when when Deshaun was in Houston, what made that whole thing go south? When did he just say, you know what, I'm done with y'all. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. It's back when they was looking for a head coach. He said, I want Eric B. and me to be at least interviewed for the job. They didn't do it, and that's when he said, All right, I'm cool. Now, Eric B. and me is the Washington, not the Washington. The, no, they are yeah, Washington. Washington Commanders. Washington yeah. Commanders. It's so hard. Stop changing everything. I'm trying to be politically correct. The Commanders just clean house, so he technically doesn't have a job. I'm not saying he's the answer. So but do I you do. wait? What, hold on. Let me let me ask you this. He ain't mm. calling the plays. Do you think that Deshaun, who once upon a time made a stand, wanted to play with the enemy? Do you think that might have anything to do with this? And that he might be on his way to Cleveland. When you start scheming like this, bro, I I'm just, one, I'm I'll just saying. One day and Tyvis is scheming. Let's yeah, just put is. it. Let's well, put it. Tyvis didn't scheme. <laughs> Tyvis just mentioned the enemy. I, I like that. Saying, yeah. but, what is, is that is, but what I'm saying is happening. But what I'm saying is because by the way, he was less than good in Washington. <laughs> was he? Yes, he was. <laughs> Look it up. He started, I mean, off, he started off okay. He I mean, they, they, they just got him like, got, got away Sam from him. Sam Howell is terrible, and he got him playing pretty well for three. I mean, he did. Yeah. yeah. He was leading the league. To me, in the, yards, the head scratcher in Washington was you, you brought in a guy, paid a lot of money to him, and you're, you didn't start him, and there were 68 quarterbacks that started games this year. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and the highest paid backup isn't one of them. Well, and by the way, when he came into play, played well. He did. Well, and nobody in that organization, now maybe this wasn't the enemy, yeah. somebody in that organization was making this firm decision that it was not going to be Jacoby. Well, to be fair, it's hard to call offense when your offensive line is not. They're a terrible team. Oh, oh, he, he so let, wait, doesn't that apply to AVP too? Bo- Bull. His Does offensive it, line is bad. So, so the, yeah. I just thought some bull. Forty yeah. percent of them were hurt. Ninety percent of the season, if, well, he if, wasn't if, calling the play. You just got rid of your <laughs> offensive coordinator. Yeah. Does that mean to get a new offensive coordinator, you have to let him call plays? No. No. So you, so you, you, we all believe. But you're that, not going to get the best choice because the best choice wants going to call plays. So we all believe that Stefanski will be calling plays. I assume. Year. But I, I'm kind of shook now. He, a, a listen. Body. Do, who wants him to call plays next year? Raise your hand. I do. I, I do too. I have no problem with yeah. him calling plays. So now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering, and, or, or, and, and I don't want to put this on Deshaun, but his <laughs> history is once upon a time, he made a power play to get his coach. Hey, I, hey. If, if Deshaun is hearing all of these whispers in the media about, oh, well, that's what Deshaun Watson needs to look like right there. He needs yeah. to get under center, and he starts getting a little nervous. What? And he goes to Haslam, or he goes to Kevin, and says, "Just FYI, I'm not comfortable doing that. But that I'm did, not going to do that." Jay, Could that the, have led to these firings? At the end of the day, Jay, you gotta yeah. you gotta do what's best for this team and for your career. I mean, listen, your head coach showed you he's a mastermind at working under center. You know that you want to play in the gun, so. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get rid of the head coach. So what are you gonna do? Get the next best option. The best option is to get a guy that comes in and specializes in shotgun. Maybe these two can work together. Okay, compromise, Deshaun. You're gonna start the game off at under center. You're gonna get some things going. Especially if Nick Chubb is back, they're gonna respect the play action yeah. even more. Okay. Well, because they'll actually run the ball well. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. So next yeah. thing we're gonna do is all right. We're gonna bring in your shotgun specialist, and we're gonna let you run some plays out of shotgun. Let's just get fifty-fifty on this thing. But, Instead of just being one-dimensional, yeah. just be fifty-fifty on the thing. To your point, though, Deshaun Watson had power in Houston because he knew that if he demanded a trade, he would be traded. He can't demand a trade now. Nobody wants him. There's not a team in the league that would take his contract. But but he still has power because. The Browns can't give her the contract. Say, you I, no, I hear you, but like, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Just hold out, not get paid? I mean, what's what's he gonna do? Who? What, Deshaun. What could Deshaun do? Play. That's it. Right. So what's he gonna do? He has no power. I don't believe Deshaun did anything here behind the scenes. I. Uh, by the way, one other thing on this: Why <laughs> fire the running back coach and the tight end coach and not the wide receiver? Coach? I, I want to know the same. Thing. Thing. Like if anything, the same thing. I want to know been the same thing. Boy, you know what really is disappointing to me, and and I don't know if Kevin Stefanski was just publicly spinning it some, to make his guys feel better all year long, including going back to before the season when the media was pressing, "Hey, this guy's available. What are we doing?" This guy's available. What are we doing? Hey, it seems like we need another wide receiver. What are we doing? I like what was room. the line we heard? I like the room. I love my room. Love the room. I but love the wide receiver th- room. But this is the a- wide receiver room was 
awful. And yet, and yet they kept telling us they the liked o- the room. They he, liked the room. And he's the only guy besides Callahan, of course, that didn't get fired. I think, don't get it, I I don't think get the it. interesting thing about the whole thing, wh- why I'm okay with the firings is Kevin Stefanski has had the same staff for about four years, right? On right. offense. On right. offense, yeah. right? If they're that good, why hasn't nobody – Take, taking them off the staff. <laughs> Usually these guys get hired as OCs or somebody looking. It happens in San Fran all the time. Shoot, uh, Bobby from the Texas getting head coaching that, opportunities <clears throat> and he just been an OC for one and, season. And you, you, so why is it that no Stump never got it or, or Van Pelt never got any? None of these guys are l- getting looked at for bigger roles. That's true. So Even is Jim it Schwartz, that, by the way, is it that, that like they're not that well, good? It, but here's the problem with that. If you're not going to, here's, when you're not the play caller, you're just a guy. You're just a guy. You're not going to get the credit Low key. because That's true. That's everybody's true. looking at this <laughs> offense as Stefanski. So if Stefanski's going to get the credit, she how can the, the other guys well, get the blame? I, I will counter that because the Bengals offensive coordinator who doesn't call the plays, Zach Taylor calls the plays. Right. The Bengals offensive coordinator, Brian Callahan, has four head coaching interviews this cycle. I, I'm, I'd be surprised if he got one. I'd be even more surprised if he succeeds. But like, I think both those guys are the product of Joe, quite well, frankly. Well, maybe, but the bottom line is teams around the league, whether they're right or wrong, see something in him that they like. Well, and how long did Eric Bieniemy to get a call? You, you know what? He was he was Andy Reid's assistant. Right. Well, That's he, what he was. He he got at least he did get head coaching after interviews. eight seasons of becoming a runner up every time or whatever. Right, but it Alex was, Van it was Pelt, ridiculous. He was but the, Jay, Alex, was, it was him. the Rooney but Jay, rule. Alex Van Pelt has been in the league a long time. Let me ask you this though. Yeah. In in all of this season, when praise was being heaped on the Browns' offense for figuring this out. How many times did you hear Kevin Stefanski's name stapled to that sentence? And how many times did you hear Alex Van Pelt's name stapled to that sentence? If you heard Van Pelt getting any praise anywhere, it's one more time than I heard it. It was always Kevin Stefanski. Kevin Stefanski. He's the offensive guy. I just don't understand how he gets the flowers, but the other guys get the pink slip. That's the game. (laughs) You know that. Like, here's the thing. If you think that, if you think, we all think that he did a pretty good job. But the way people think is the last taste of your mouth. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Texans' uh, offensive coordinator is what? He's how many? How many years has he been in the league? At, at the As an OC, one. One year. Who are you talking about? The Texans. And he'll be a head coach. So, he'll be a head coach in 2017. So, he was so, with me on scout team in 2017 and 2018. So he just put up 45, and their quarterback is a rookie too. To the number one defense. And you, they people start looking around like, hold on, well, well how how good? Were we? How good was it? Because this guy's a, never done it before, and this guy's a rookie. His quarterback is a rookie, and they only got two other players. They got Will Anderson and, 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 and C.J. Stroud and a new coach, and that was it. So Thank Leroy's you. on. We got to bring him in, but before we do that, we also need to read. Bull, you were – I need more information. Let's well, just because, go on again, I got no problem with it. If I know Stefanski made these moves. And I think there was probably something with him and Van Pelt, I don't know. Right. With the, with the position coaches, to me, that's – I'd be stunned if that wasn't all the front office. Okay. Oh, and so then you I'm sorry, not, all the owner. So you would not be okay with it if that's the case. Are you okay with these three firings? Yes. What if Listen, you knew it was an G- owner call only? Hey, you, it, look, when you lose like that and you've been together for a long time, somebody got to go. That's just the way it's going to happen. I'm not okay. mad. I'm not upset. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at demanding better. the guys better. that had to go, these would be the three guys on your list? No. No. Because they wouldn't be. Right? <laughs> no. Right? Listen, right? Gee, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to your premise. In fact, I agree with your yeah. premise. I said on the show yesterday, anybody okay with sitting pat this offseason? You must be okay with losing in the first round of the playoffs. Change yeah. has to happen. Yeah. However, if I was to make a list of where I thought change was coming on the coaching staff, it sure as hell wouldn't include Stump Mitchell. It most likely wouldn't have included Alex Van Pelt. And the tight ends coach, I'm told his contract expired. Okay, so man, with, hey, but, resound my boy TC. But with man. Stump and with AVP, th- there was another year left on their so, deal. So maybe so they, they were fired. Maybe they thought, look, we got Nick Chubb back there. Nick Chubb is his own coach. Sorry, Stump, we got to get you up <laughs> out of here. And <laughs> maybe Van Pelt was like, look, I ain't calling plays. No way. Let me part ways. And yeah, like, some money. I feel like so. There was a three okay. pick. Okay, for the record, I am not good with it. And here's the thing: if this offense comes back next year. And we're seeing the same old offense. Kevin well, Sean is Kevin's in here. the shotgun. No, listen. <laughs> here's the problem with all this, guys. Kevin will be the scapegoat if it doesn't work. 
But if this wasn't Kevin's decision, this guess is, what we're stuck with? This is crazy. The owner. You know what? Mm. Haslam ain't giving him no. I, I just, he just hit me. Haslam's not giving him no extension this offseason. You don't think? Well, he I just don't fired see, three offensive I don't coaches. See, yeah, I, like mean, I guess you can. And you know what? If nothing else, those three coaches report, all of them report to so, Kevin's defense. So let me and that's bad. Wow. And he's a lame duck coach. Wow. That's never and, good. And if wow. that happens, then, wow. then you know th- this, <laughs> could it, this whole thing is over. If he goes into his last season without a wait, contract, yeah, could it be good. that the wow. Jimmy hires potentially Kevin's replacement? God help us. 